This is um the song Price Fighter by Blame My Youth, which is the theme song for this year's WWE Night of Champions in Saudi Arabia. Yay. I think it's the first Saudi Arabia behavior we've actually um, we've covered since the first one. <laughs> the first one. Yay. Um, and we got 15 minutes. Yeah, we have a good card though. It will not take us long to preview. I guarantee it. Um in the championship, we have Gunther versus Mustafa, Mustafa Ali. Um, if anyone, by the way, has not seen Mustafa Ali's promo on Twitter, it is one of the best promos I've ever seen him do. Unfortunately, they did not let him do it on television, which sucks. Um, there's no chance that we're going to lose the belt, right, guys? No. If he if he loses the belt, I will pluck my eyebrows. I swear to hell, I'm going to start making a montage at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a, a random. By the way, notice the color coding on your run sheet. That is not have to find it until they figure the title situation out. <laughs> that's the fun with the titles on here. Uh, yes. <laughs> the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship, which is currently on Raw, uh, Rhea Ripley <laughs> is facing Natalia. I don't even know why this match is actually happening, except to get Rhea on this show. So obviously, Rhea is retaining. <laughs> you yes, mean so. mommy? Mommy's going to retain. Yeah. By the way, by the way, I just note. I just by the way, it was noticed that there's um. We have seven matches on the show, and almost mm -hmm. half of them are women because it's four and five, it's four and three. And three of them are women's matches. A pretty big deal for a Saudi Arabia. And they're show. all going to be covered head to toe. Uh, I thought the last Saudi show wasn't that bad. I mean, they were better than the women. These were wearing oversized shirts and shit like that, like they were in the past. <laughs> in the last, <laughs> at least they were allowed to have some kind of a form fitting where they actually show their curves for a change. <laughs> yep. Yes. So the, first, the early days were awful. I agree with you. The early days were terrible. <laughs> um, the <laughs> Raw Women's Championship currently on SmackDown. <laughs> I would feel like because they, they don't want to end Bianca's reign yet, and if they switch titles, it'll end her reign. I think that's what's going on here. Um, Bianca Belair is facing Asuka again. I don't see the title change at all. Sal? No. No. Dad? I don't know. I'm thinking possibly. I, I just don't know if they want to do a title change in Saudi Arabia for the women. I just don't see it happening. Because my thing is, uh, if you want to get the belt off of Bianca, this would be the thing to do it, and it would be like a short thing for her. And then, but it's still later. against somebody that's on a different show. It doesn't make sense. Well, I think what you do is, you know what you do, you do kind of a money in the you wait the money in the bank, and whoever mm -hmm. cashes in on money in the bank take the belt off Bianca, and then you just like slowly switch the title back. You just slowly switch them back. You don't make a big slowly. production out of it. You don't make a big production. Or, you know what you do? You rename the damn belt so they're not representing shows. Then you don't have this problem. Then you won't have mm, the problem. True. Right? I mean, like, Universal and the um, WWE and the world are all different, like, titles. That is the same thing true. with the belts. Like, the same thing with the tag belts. Why are they wrong SmackDown? I don't know. <laughs> same in hell. That's true. Just don't make it into a shape of a butterfly. So don't do that. I agree with that. I would just do like to change the belts. Just change the names of the belts, and then you're not a problem anymore. I mean, there you go. Uh, let's move on okay. to WWE, you know, the, the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match. I don't know why we still have the, the, the Viners, Viners Unified. I have no clue. But we'll get to that another time. It is Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn taking on the bloodline, Roman Reigns, and Sol Tokoa with Paul Heyman. Um, I know what Sal's going to say. I'll throw it to him in a second. I have a weird feeling KO and Sammy are going to retain the belt with because the Usos are going to help the bloodline but fail. Super kick Sol Sokoa and Sol is going to get pinned and Roman's going to give rage on SmackDown on Friday. That's it, I think. Mm. Because that makes the most sense for the bloodline storyline that's going on right now on SmackDown. So that's what I think is going to happen. Sal, I'll throw it to you. Uh, LOL, Roman wins. Uh, Roman's going to have four titles now because he's going to have still both championships. And then he's going to have both tag team titles. Uh, he's going to have be... enough shoulders for that? I'm just wondering. He's probably going to have shoulders. He's <laughs> going to have uh, shoulder addition surgery. Oh, yeah. And he's going to add two more shoulders so that he can have four titles at the same time. And uh, he's going to say, I have to do your job for you. And that's how that's going to continue that storyline. Fair enough. Fair enough. Dad, what do you think? Break the tie. I'm telling you. I am tending to be with you where I see the Usos kind of doing a run-in or doing something that basically is going to cause Sammy and KO to retain 
And then the infighting on the bloodline basically gets really intense where you're going to see down the road the matchup Usos against Solo and Roman. I can see that if they do this right, that could actually like be one of the main events of SummerSlam. Uh-huh. And you have Paul Heyman in the with the, belt, with the belts or without the belts, that could be one of the main events of SummerSlam. Like straight right. up. Like straight up. No question to ask. You know? Uh, somebody, somebody threw out an idea of Solo Sokoa winning Money in the Bank. And having him oh. in the back with the case, oh. just using it, having him in the background, just to see what would happen. You know what I mean? I think that would be a lot of fun. As long as I, see, I'm, I'm actually anti putting the expensive bank on Cody. I, I'm anti that personally. I love Cody Rhodes, but I don't. Cue it. I don't Cue it. But oh, okay, we'll get there. We'll get the. I mean, we'll, we'll do it, and then we'll just skip ahead to that match. Okay. Cody Rhodes. <laughs> speaking of Cody, speaking of Cody, we'll jump ahead. Um, <laughs> Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. Um, I don't know. Why. Question. Go for it. I, I obviously I did not watch this past week. Um, he broke his arm. Oh, so let me explain how this worked. I actually like this story. This is actually a fun story. So the show opened with Brock Lesnar out of nowhere attacking Cody while Cody's walking in the building. And As you do. And but funny part for me was he threw him through a table in like one flew in motion, and like, it was like it was like it was, and it was a table with all the food on it. So he like, threw him through a table with food on it. And then he F5, and then he threw him into, like, these ladders that are stacked him in the back. And then he f 5 <laughs> him into a garage door. <laughs> As you do. And then he picked up a keg and threw it at, and threw it directly at, um, at Cody's arm. <laughs> and I think it was supposed to miss, and it didn't miss. <laughs> it was a direct throw. Like, it was crazy to watch. <laughs> it was so open. So then, later in the show, Brock says, comes to the ring and says, well, since I injured Cody, I guess I have a, I, I need a match on Sunday, on Saturday. And then Cody comes out anyway with the sling on from the doctor, takes the sling off, goes out to Brock, and then Brock puts him in the Kimura and breaks his arm. Exactly. I'm going to my storyline. Breaks his arm. So then, but Cody won't get checked by medical to the end of the show. So he, he kicked Adam Pierce out of his lot, out, out of the locker room and everything. It was crazy to watch on TV. This is the whole show thing. And at the end of the show, Triple H came in and sat down in Papa H mode and sat down with him and and pretty much told Cody, you don't, you don't you shouldn't do this. And Cody said, I'm doing it anyway. He said, I thought we're having the match. Anyway, just fight it. So that's, so, why, that's why I think Brock's going to win the match. And we're going to get a rematch at Money in the Bank. So essentially, we are recycling the whole Horn Peck storyline, even though that was legit. Exactly. And actually, that, yeah. got up, that actually got brought up by Triple H. That we know what we can do. We've seen you do it already. Why? Because I have you know, a I, I'm telling you why. I think the reason is, is because they want, they're going to have Brock win this match, have a rematch at Money in the Bank, and it will keep Cody out of the Money in the Bank match. Hmm. That's what I think is going to hmm. happen. Okay. That's where I'm at. So. I, I'm... I'm thinking because you want to go for the sympathy storyline and that way people feel sorry for Cody and he basically are behind him that I see Cody winning this match. No. Uh, no, they already no, gave him a win with the fucking here. torn pack. That was more than enough. Here, here actually, he actually, he, here's the thing. Here's my logic behind that. Brock does not lose matches two in a row. He never loses back to Mac matches. He rarely ever loses them. I just don't see them doing that for Cody. I just don't. I, I, I I do because and that that sets up how Brock says okay you beat me twice this is it I want to make sure that next time it, there's not going to be a next time so something will be set up where there'll be a, a a third match between Brock and Cody actually I can see this match ending by like the referee like ending the match and that causes them to have to have a third match. Where Cody there you go. Tap out. Yeah, there you go. Tap out there you and go. throws the match out. I could totally like he's that. got him. Like he's got him in the Camaro. Yeah, and then he's, he's, he's not tapping out. Tap. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. And then Cody doesn't actually lose. You know what I mean? Like I can see that happening. There's a doggy. I hear a doggy, a doggy crying. There's a doggy. And... There's a doggy whining there. Okay, Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus. I don't know why this is happening. I don't think I care. I love these two people, but I don't care about this match. Um. Becky wins, right? I say Trish wins. Really? Let, let's make things a little interesting. Let's 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 see where this goes because obviously they're trying to stretch this out, and I can see this being like worked up to like may, maybe SummerSlam, 
just to give Becky something to do because she really has nothing to do right now. True. And very true. And I say give Trish the win, dirty win, mind you. Give Trish true. a dirty win, and um, you know, and and let's just, I guess, carry this all the way to the end of the summer. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, Trish wins, but she has some assistance. Who? Lita. Um, Comes Lita out, Lita coming out in Saudi Arabia. Lita comes out and basically turns heel in lines with Trish because the good old girls got to stick together. But she's but she's busy finding treasures or doing whatever. I you know it's funny, but she didn't stop. We don't have any right now because of YouTube TV, so you have to wait until the show is on on demand, which is not on demand yet. They're just waiting to watch all the show. Oh no, yeah, we have to wait. <laughs> well, the last two episodes were fantastic. Well, we'll catch up. We will catch up. By the way, Dad, we don't have Vice, but you can. But the on demand does work quickly, so you can see um Dark Side quickly on the app. Next morning, it'll show up like the next morning on Vice. Just so you know, that debuts soon, right? Um, two weeks. Two weeks. Yep. Okay, good. Um, main event, World Heavyweight Championship. It is Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. By the way, it was announced that this is going to be the continuation of the old World Heavyweight Championship. It's not a brand new belt. It is the continuation of the old World Heavyweight Championship. So they're bringing it back. Yeah, they're decommissioning it. Or they made, whatever, they made that official. They made that official. So the people were wondering, this is the old World Heavyweight Championship coming back. They just redesigned the belt. With a new look, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, it's Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. Seth Rollins, by the way, was not on TV last week because he was out filming Captain America. Not a joke. That was legitimate. He's in the Captain mm -hmm. America New World Order movie, and he was off filming. I thought he was off the last two weeks. Um, which actually made it very funny that he's complaining about Roman Reigns not being on the show, and that he was off the last two weeks. I thought that, that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was funny. <laughs> but, um, um, I think it's just simple for me. I think Seth was winning. I think this whole thing was leading to Seth winning. Otherwise, why the blue hell would he hit in this match? And why did they have the tournament in two days so he can go film a movie? I, <laughs> that's how I feel like this is going on because otherwise if Seth wasn't winning this they would have had him lose and strip, and strip the tournament out so, so Seth is winning right. the belt. Sal what do you think uh, I find it odd that they even had Smackdown people involved I agree if this is a raw exclusive title so I mean it would be idiotic if AJ won so I mean like you said it, I mean it's been it's been obvious since the beginning that pretty much this was the title for Seth to win because he hadn't had a title in a while. Pretty much. Dad, what do you think? I, I thought that the way they set up this belt could be defended anywhere. So my thing, if it could be defended either on Raw and SmackDown. That's not what they said. That's not what they said. That is not what they said. Okay. That is a Raw exclusive belt that'll be on TV more often than Roman. That was the wording they used. Okay. The raw exclusive belt. So if AJ wins, he has to move the smack, move the raw, which would make no sense. Well, higher OCs on on SmackDown. Well, I mean, I would like to see AJ win, but unfortunately, I have to agree with you that this is the belt for Seth. And my thing is now you got to find out who who's going to basically get it off of him. I mean, is is there any good challengers this for Seth? That he can take on. We'll have Who time. Knows? We'll have time to do it. Like I'm not really stressed about it. All right. Well, that is Night of Champions.